two pit balls carrying equal charges are suspended from a common point of string of equal length. The equilibrium separation between them is R. Now the strings are rigidly clamped at half the height. The equilibrium separation between the balls now become. Here you have a ceiling. From the common point, the two pit balls are hanging like a simple pendulum. They are separated by a distance R. The length of the pendulum is L and the distance of separation is R. Now, the vertical distance is Y. The angle what it makes Y with L is theta. Now, there is a tension in the string. We call it as T. Now, let us find what are the various forces acting here in the left ball. The first force is the electric force because of repulsion. It towards left. It's equal to K times Q square by R square. Then, the weight of the pitch ball Mg that's vertically downward. Then the T is resolved into two component. The horizontal component is T cos theta acts upward and the vertical component T sin theta that acts on the right. Good. Now, let us go with the same force on the right ball. Let us not write all the detail in the right hand side. The four options are given. Out of these four options, one option is correct. So, let us go with at equilibrium position. The summation of forces acts along the x axis, x direction is 0 at equilibrium. Right. Now, we can say that T sin theta equals K times Q square by R square. Similarly, the summation of forces acting in the y direction equals 0 because it happens at equilibrium. So, T cos theta equals mg. We divide one equation by other, we get tan theta equals k q square by m g r square. In this particular term, right, in this particular term, few terms are constant. What are the terms constant? k is constant, m is constant, g is constant, q square is constant. Let us frame a proportionality equation between tan theta and r square. So, r square proportional to 1 by tan theta. 1 by tan theta is nothing but cot theta. So, r square proportional to cot theta. Cot theta is nothing but adjacent side by the opposite side. So, we can say that tan theta is replaced by adjacent side y by opposite side r by 2. So, the 2 here once again is constant. Let us not bring that into the proportionality equation. So, r cube becomes y. So, r proportional to y power 1 by 3 is the is the landmark equation let us go further for the second case what has been said in the second case the strings is clamped at half the of the height so let let me draw the diagram on, once again so the y becomes the y becomes y by 2 right the new y become y by 2. So, I can say that y prime equal to y by 2 there is the, there is a new separation we, we call it as r prime. So, r prime by r equals y prime by y to the power 1 by 3. So, we very well know it is given that y prime is half the height y by 2. So, r prime by r equals y by 2 divided by y to the power 1 by 3. So, y y cancels. So, the final equation r prime equals 1 by cube root of 2 times r. So, the right option is option c 1 by cube root of 2. Thank you children.